Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm just going to be showing you all my Indian stick insects. As you can see here these is where all the enclosures are and also the equipment like the water sprayer and I'm also going to show you my eggs as well so let's get on to the video. So firstly I'm just going to show you my eggs which is in this container here. So in here I have eight Indian stick insect eggs and it says they can hatch in about four months time and these are quite new these eggs so I'm not sure when they're going to hatch but you know we just got to wait and see. I will spray my Indian stick insect eggs every day because you need to keep the sheet moist and wet for them to hatch. I would recommend for you to put your Indian stick insect eggs in a container like this. I'm just using an ice cream container for now and you need to make sure that you poke it with holes so they, they can then breathe if they do hatch. Here's my baby Indian stick insect. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl but I do think it is a boy, a male, so I'm just going to call it him for now but I'm not sure what gender it is until it's properly older when I can see the proper size. So here he is, and looking as adorable as ever. It is pretty hard to see him because he's so tiny, but there he is. He will probably grow to the size of an adult in about two months time where I can then put him into the large enclosure. Before I move on to the large enclosure, very quickly I just want to say that you need to make sure to spray the small, in, the, sorry, the baby stick insect enclosure. You don't want to spray it every day like a normal Indian stick insect, you just want to spray it about once every three days probably but you want to make sure not to spray the little one because it can injure them in many ways because their legs are very small and very tiny so this is my large Indian stick insect enclosure so here is a female at the moment it's my female my second female if you can see is actually looking a bit like a stick at the moment just being a stick there on the ivy and then just at the back if you can see I have one male which I can tell if he's a male because he is a smaller length and a smaller size as the two females. As my free Indian stick insects have started turning into adults they've started laying hundreds of eggs and there have just been so many. <laughs> In this enclosure there is privet and ivy, I don't give them other plants, I just give them privet and ivy because that's the only stuff they do eat. Here we are. I'm going to try and hold the male now, if I can also hold the camera at the same time. Here he is. He's making that movement to pretend that he's a twig to a predator. Sorry everyone, but I had to put him back because he was just climbing up my arm, but can you see how fast he is? He's just like wiggling that ivy leaf a lot. It's <laughs> a lot of movement for an Indian stick insect. Some of my Indian stick insects will actually form like a twig in my hand. There is also another way to show predators that they're just a twig and they then don't get eaten. I, you must spray their enclosure once a day so then they then get all the water they need on their leaves. And there you are, I have just shown you two of my enclosures, one with my baby Indian stick insect and one with my large Indian stick insects and then my small tub of baby Indian stick insect eggs. Thank you very much for watching.